Please do like this video and subscribe to this YouTube channel and don't forget to click on bell icon. One of our members sends the clip about laminar airflow hoods in house verification as per their standard operating procedures. Let's check. Hey guys, I will show you about the Lemina Airflow Hoods verification as per my SOPs. Let's get started. So the requirements for verification of Lemina Airflow Hoods are anemometer or air velocity meter, particle counter, and pre-incubated media plates. I incubated these plates uh, about 2 days means 48 hours. If you have a lack of time, you may incubate for 24 hours. This is my handmade report and you can see I have written the points of laminar airflow goods. Those are front left, front right, center, back left, back right and it has 3 columns or air velocity count, particle count and viable count. Let's get the start of our work with viable count. First, I will start with disinfect or sanitize the laminar airflow hood. And when you are using disinfectant under laminar airflow, so make sure all the switches and sockets under laminar are um, are switched off because it may lead to short circuit or any other kind of electrical issue that may be quite dangerous. Prepare your media incubated uh, or pre-incubated plates with the media name, date and location name or point to be placed the media plate as like this. Point name uh, must be mentioned so if you having any kind of result uh, or false results so you may examine the location. So mark your place like this. Now expose your plate on inverted lid of battery plate on the same location uh, which is mentioned on or you marked already on plate. Expose for one hour or if you have your own SOP so work accordingly. Uh, just in USB class A, it says that you have to expose for 4 hours, but if you have uh, or you are doing the validation of your laminar airflow yearly or annually, so it is not important because it requires a lot of time and in pharmaceutical microbiology lab, we don't have enough time to work on this validation again and again. Now these plates are ready to be incubated. I am incubating these plates for 2 to 3 days at 37 degrees centigrade and plates should be put uh, uh, like this for incubation and media must be in inverted position. Please do like this video and subscribe to this YouTube channel and don't forget to click on bell icon. Now for particle counting, first clean the uh, sensor with clean cloth and disinfectant so any irrelevant particle will not be triggered um, during particle count. Turn down the temperature and humidity uh, sensor as well. This is a description of particle counter and different particles have different functions um, and I will show you with my x -Tech. A particle counter so let us start our work um, time and date are already set in device and the sizes of particles I have been choosing as you can see in display that is 0 0.5 micrometers and 5 microns those are very important particles as it's already mentioned in USB uh, 116 chapter 
we are measuring uh, the particles uh, collectively for 60 seconds and after collecting the data we will calculate the particles by factors and it's done check the air velocity by anemometer on different points of laminar airflow its unit set is on meter per second 0.5 meter per second plus minus 20 percent is a limit and uh, here I am collecting the air velocity from different points after that we will sum up and take average of the results so it must be under limit and if it is not uh, or it will not uh, under limit so we will um, submit the report to the engineering department So the routine verification is done for laminar air hood and the laminar air hood is ready to be used. Now I will make a report and submit it to the manager so he may know the laminar airflow hood is complied for doing microbial testing.